Elon Musk, where you day, Elon Musk, you have a missed call. Elon Musk, wherever he is now, people have to tell him to be panicking. Elon Musk is, he should be shaking in fear now because a Nigerian has come up with something that will challenge Musk, that we that we that we just make Elon Musk look like say no get sense. You know, globally people see Elon Musk like one of the greatest tech inventors, like one of the smartest engineers in the world. One of the of course he is. He is like we should not say he isn't. Like make no believe I got hype Nigerian because he's a Nigerian and bring that Elon Musk. Elon Musk has proven to be a great man, you know, with his innovation, with his tech, with so many things. But this Nigerian guy, I won't turn over this video. <laughs> and they turn and say, you know, most of the fear, that is a joke. I'm telling you guys, this is not me exaggerating. This is literally about a Nigerian guy coming out with a technology that is better than Elon Musk. That is rivaling Elon Musk. That's going to make Elon Musk rethink. There are two things involved. I know I love Elon Musk for one thing. I love him. You know, because whenever these Nigerians come up with this creativity, with these fantastic innovations, the guy is always among the first people to see it. And he doesn't shy away. He, you know, they hate them. You know, because say, oh, you know, get South African spirit or Ghana spirit. For say, no, I will not. I will. I will. No, you know, they hate them. You know, they bring their wahala. On the contrary, it almost will just rush and grab them before Nigeria government will even think of say ah when we see these our young talented people we should employ them and give them capacity empower them before Africa we start thinking of that one or oh, before smart Africans will start be saying oh we have electric vehicle companies we have innovation tech let's take this guy he almost not carry him. like I'm talking to you now the number of Nigerian engineers working for Tesla the number of Nigerian engineers working for Elon Musk as developers as i don't even know i can describe it they are uncountable at least we know of a story recently when guy one guy built a sports car in one of these Igbo communities i think it was in over sports car fantastic he almost can't say he who it is pop you know carry on so that is why i love him so I'm not, I'm not bothered. I know that this Nigeria guy, I want to talk about his discovery, his achievement and his accomplishment in this video. I am pretty sure as I'm talking to you now, he is already getting those calls. And I hope that Nigeria will wake up and pick them up and use them in Nigeria because Nigeria government has made it clear that importation of cars is not for Nigeria. Nigeria should be building their own cars. Nigeria should be building their own technology. Nigeria should be evolving. So, how do you evolve if you allow this kind of creative youth, this kind of talented youth, this kind of youth that can do better than Elon Musk? How can you allow them to go to another country? I know Nigerians that have built cars, developed cars in America almost all their lives. They could do this in Nigeria. So, I beg go. This Nigeria guy is on the news and is making great rounds on the news because he has done what the world is yet to explore or the world is yet to experience now we know that electric vehicles are the future china is coming in to start building electric vehicles in nigeria the world is moving towards electric vehicles everybody is moving towards that direction and these electric vehicles how do they charge you have to connect them to electricity so in America, there's a challenge. In some countries, there's a challenge, especially when there's snow, where many cars can't, you can't snow, first of all, cover them up. And all those charging ports they used to keep around, you know, you can't access them. There's difficulty. So that charging has its own challenges. Sometimes the places you have to charge the car the whole night. So you must buy one of those machines and put it in your house to be using to charge your car. Because they do have pu public places, but how long will you wait in the public places to charge your car? So this Nigerian guy, don't they ask himself questions? Ah, these electric vehicles, and especially as a Nigerian, and I'm sure one thing that motivated him was the fact that as a Nigerian, we electricity gay issues for this country. Ah, if we go to pay for this charging, connecting, connecting, now all our 
Now, wahala, I want to solve that problem. So the Nigeria, he had, you know, Nigerians think a lot. The guy had come open up. He said, no, I have to innovate. I have to invent a way to charge electric vehicles without connecting them to current. Now, do you hear me? See, Nigeria miner, they are top notch. Their thinking is beyond the universe. You see, how do we charge electric vehicles without connecting them to electricity? That is the latest tech in town. And the boy get the solution. I'm telling you, my guys, wake up. If you are sleeping, wake up. Because the Nigerian guy, he didn't just think about it. He created an innovation. He created a solution for that. The thing shocked me. I said, ah, Oga, hi, Tedua. Oga, are you normal? That's what I asked him. <laughs> you know, because I had a talk with him one-on-one -on -one in my mind. I was discussing with him in my mind. Say, my brother, this is what you were thinking. But how you do, how did you achieve? You think Elon Musk did not think about that? How dare you do something that Elon Musk cannot do? So the Nigerian guy, he developed a wireless charging tech for electric vehicles. Wireless charging tech for electric vehicles. You know, wireless means you don't need cable to connect it. You don't need this and that. You just, it's like Bluetooth, oh, I don't even know. This guy, your, his brain is something else. So a Nigerian born researcher, his name is Babatunde Soyoye. Babatunde Soyoye, as his name go Babatunde, Baba you too much. Baba you too much, oh. That song, they were talking about you, Babatunde. You understand? When Frank Edward, they sing that song, Baba you too, now nah you Babatunde, they talk, you too much. Because no, no, nobody could do this kind of thing if the person is normal. So Baba Tunde So Ye Ye has achieved a breakthrough in sustainable transportation with his pioneering work in electric vehicles, wireless charging technology, and advanced battery management system. So basically, it's not just about making the car or charging the car wireless, but he also advanced the battery management system. Oh God, oh God, you've been <clears throat> so yo ye in an interview with Punch because, of course, this kind of breaking news people go to call, people go to call, ask a question, how it is doing. So he can't talk about his story. He said, you know, at Tennessee Tech University, he went to the United States of America, of course. You know, I will talk about that later. You know, we'll talk about that in another important, massive video that is coming up. You know, so he started in the university in America, where he backed a master's in electrical and computer engineering. And he worked on a major challenge hindering electric vehicles adoption, charging efficiency. So the guy don't did this matter for long. The guy don't they research this matter for long. You understand? So so yeah, who earned his first degree in electrical engineering in Obafemi Awolowo University. <laughs> Nigerians, I love this university. Obafemi Awolowo University. Ile Ife. One of the greatest universities in Africa. The greatest of all time. One of the first universities. I think the first university in Nigeria, or one of the first universities in Nigeria, Obafemi Awolowo University. A great man, Obafemi. You understand? He revealed that his journey into the field was sparked by a fascination with how sustainable energy could be transformed for global transportation. The guy don't they think. The guy should say, not nah, way in mind don't they enter places. And of course, it's part of the evidence that Nigerians leave Nigeria with potentials because he studied in Nigeria. He was born in Nigeria, raised in Nigeria. So nobody will come to him and say, oh, it's because uh, America. And I lie. He went to Obafemi Awolowo University and he studied electrical engineering there. So you have to give credit to Nigerian universities. You have to get. They used to do Africa ranking universities. We do ranking universities in the world and I'll be seeing them putting South Africa universities here and there. How many of their students come out to produce this kind of innovation and achievement? Show me. As far as I'm concerned, Nigeria has the greatest universities in Africa. 
nobody come close you understand that ranking system i don't know how it works so this is our brother baba tunde so you ye has just placed nigeria on another great path with this innovation because it could actually change the entire universe of electric vehicles it could become the transformation point in electric vehicles history with its discovery with what is bringing to the table as people they ask what are you bringing to the table what are you bringing not the innovation they bring for the table so with this innovation and what is bringing to the table i can assure you that he's going places nigeria is going places and of course top people in the industry like elon musk and others they'll definitely be sniffing around trying to grab him close to them because they know that where that wisdom came from there is more it is what it is your boy Aji Max on this one again more breaking news is coming up don't miss it for no reason guys come back anytime you're free guys god bless you cheese